Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Sunday night, which means it's trad beer night. And the beer we're going for tonight's from Badger. It is this one. It is the uh, Tropical Ferret. And uh, Tropical Ferret. Uh, should be Tropical Ferret, but anyway, it's playing on Furry Ferret quite clearly. Um, it's an IPA with big waves of passion fruit and mango flavours. It weighs in at 4.6% ABV. And it says on the back of the bottle... That after years of hard work in the brewery, it was high time for a ferret getaway. So the gang went surfing in the USA. From the shores of the Pacific West to the sun-drenched beaches of California, gathering hops along the way. With pockets full, the gang caught one last wave before heading back to Dorset. Uh, and it obviously says, yeah, again, that it's a fruity IPA, burst from a tropical passion fruit and mango flavours combined with the American Amarillo and Centennial hops. Uh, so this one is available in your local Tesco. Um... One pound eighty a bottle. I think it's four for six quid, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd give it a try and see what's occurring. I do love the uh, the other ferret. I have a connection to that beer, uh, which if you check out the video, I'll link it somewhere up there at some point in the video. Uh, you'll understand why. Um, but yeah, let's get it out into a glass and see what we think, shall we? So we are going to pour into my Father's Day glass. As seems to be the way on Sundays of late, the pour is. Oh, that's a nice colour, a nice deep gold. I'm not going to go nuts with the pour because I want to save some for the picture. That'll do. So, what have we got? We've got a lovely deep golden beer there. Um, up close and personal, you can see that nice colour, nice off white head, good, good inch or so of that. It looks really rather nice. I like that colour, it instills confidence. So, let's have a whiff. Mango. It is mango. It's a fairly sweet mango. Um, slightly ripened. It does smell very, very tropical. Very citrusy. Hints of pineapple. Hints of orange. Hints of peach. Lots of stone fruit, basically, and citrus. Yeah, it smells lovely. So it looks great. It smells lovely. Let's have a taste. Cheers. really quite nice the body medium weight super smooth carbonation it's light it's got a lovely lovely mouthfeel it's quite full feeling malts and hops are plum but clearly the hops are kind of singing bright here they are tropical they are citrusy they are juicy hops and big flavor and it's well balanced it's lovely This is a lovely, lovely bitterness that hits just after some of that sweet juiciness disappears. Yeah, that's nice. As trad IPAs go, and it's it's not what you'd call old school. Um, by old school, I'm, I mean, I say, look, look at things like Old Empire from Marston's. That's what I would class as an old school um, current bottled trad IPA. This is more towards the craft end of the flavour spectrum. You've got those tropical notes. You've got a nice malt behind it all, but it is prominent on the tropical fruit. And it delivers. It delivers. The finish is quite sweet, but balanced. There's nothing to dislike, I don't think. So, tropical ferret. Big waves of passion fruit and mango. Get the mango, passion fruit, not so much, but uh, everyone's taste buds are different. Some people will get it, some people won't. I'm one of those who won't. Let's go to the scoreboards of joy, shall we? And uh, Badger's Tropical Ferret has had three and a half thousand check ins with an average of 3.52. Three people I've tried it slightly less, so slightly more, 3.58. Uh, pretty consistent across that there board. My scoreboard of joy is currently void of scores, so let's fill it in now. 
the looks. I love the look of this one. The colour is divine. I like a nice dark, oh, this is verging on copper, verging on copper coloured um, towards the amber end of the spectrum. The colour instills confidence in me. I mean, look at that. Look at this. Lovely, lovely colour and a nice head to it. Yeah. It looks the business. It's getting a point. The aroma delivers. It, I get the mango, that sweetness. Not getting the sharpness of the uh, the passion fruit that I would potentially expect if it was there. But I'm getting behind that, that mango. I'm getting a nice sort of dose of citrus and a good balanced biscuity malt. I like it a lot. It's a good strength as well. It's having a point. Body, can't fault it. Medium weight, super soft carbonation, nice and smooth and a beautiful, almost full mouth feel on that. Yeah, it's having a point. Taste. Now, in an IPA of the trad style, I like them hoppy, I like them bitter. And this one doesn't pretend to be a traditional IPA as we know it because it's tropical. It has some bitterness. It has plenty of hops and they are singing bright and they're fruity. It does what it says on the tin, a bit like Ron Seal. I like it. The, the biscuity malt kind of goes quite sweet afterwards with the hops. It works. I just want a touch more bitterness. I, I love it's it's a trad IPA, even though it has got more sort of modern sort of new world hops in it. I want the the bitterness a little bit more. It's really tasty, so I'm giving it 0.75. And the finish again, a little sweet for my particular pa palate, um, but again, it does what it says on the tin. Um, but again, my preference is for them to be hoppy, long and bitter. It's hoppy and long, so it's not very bitter. Uh, so I'm going to again give it the 0.75. Uh, which means Frockical Ferret from Badger has got 4.5 out of 5 on my untapped scoreboard of joy. Uh, which means you can't have the full bonus, because it didn't get the full 5 out of 5. But would I buy it again? Yeah, I would. Um, it's tasty, it delivers and it's good value for money, which means I'm going to give it the full value for money tick as well. Uh, one pound eighty a bottle, four for six quid. Can't knock it. So uh, there we go. Yeah, four and a half out of five on my untapped scoreboard of joy. So if you like modern fruity IPAs, but you like a little bit of the old school at the same time, then uh, give this one a try. Tropical ferret from Badger. That has been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I will see you again soon for another one. Bye.